Welcome everybody to another episode, another installment of a week in Geekdom Reviews. I am your host, Giovanni Menendez, and this is episode 6. And welcome, I guess, to the review land of YouTubes. Uh, this is our review show, as I've just mentioned. And uh, we thank you for tuning in week after week, or episode after episode, because let's face it, <laughs> our show is not that consistent. Uh, but we've got a special treat for you guys. We've gone a little retro, and by retro I mean just a couple years ago. It's nothing too fancy. We've got the uh, Blu-ray review for one of my favorite animated flicks of all time. Definitely a true gem, unlike last episode, which was eh. But this, my friends, is uh, the Blu-ray release. Oh, sorry for the glare. Uh, Batman Beyond Return of the De Joker on Blu-ray. Now... It, this film is from the 2000s, 2001, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, if you've seen it, you know it's a great film. But uh, what I'm going to be focusing in on this episode is uh, the actual Blu-ray transfer, which was amazing. I really liked it. And um, it's one of those rare gems when you see it, you realize how, uh, how good the quality is. And when you see the actual film, the old one, and now you see the uh, little specs and details and such. And they really went out of their way to uh, m make a good uh, version of, of an old, timeless classic in the superhero community. If you actually look at it, I, I was thinking, you know, if you haven't seen it, you would think that this is like a couple years ago or something. Like, this was brand new. Especially the explosion scenes. I'm not, I know people will focus on other aspects, but one scene in particular where uh, at the start there's this huge explosion, Michael Bay type. And the colors were so crisp and dynamic and the fluidity, if you will, of, of the animated flame as it encompasses the whole screen. That was just rock solid for me. Uh, there's nothing There's nothing new to say about the uh, voice cast. Uh, they're just professionals all the way, and 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 all the classics from Kevin Conroy uh, and, and Mark Hamill, Angie Harmon, and uh, Melissa Joan Hart. They actually did quite a good performance. I had forgotten about their characters and 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 their vocal abilities, if you will. They did a great job, as well as uh, Will Friedel. I remember back when Batman Beyond started, people were a little uh, hesitant about it, but they quickly uh, grew to like it, and it's become just as famous as the uh, regular animated series from the 90s. Uh, this movie, of course, is, I guess, like uh, the final spot, the final version of the animated shows, because this is in the future, of course. And, uh, by, by the way, if you want to continue the Batman Beyond series, be sure to pick up the uh, multiple comic book series. This is going to sound a little bit weird, but I, my favorite part of the whole thing, watching in, in high resolution, was the flashback scene. And by flashback scene, I mean where they finally explain what happened, why, um, because supposedly when this starts, you find out that the Joker died. And you learn, uh, in that flashback scene how it all, it all went down. <laughs> and... Uh, it, it was pretty good. I remember seeing it on TV, and it was um, even then it was good with all the edits it had. And uh, now we're getting the uh, uncut edition, which was the same as the uh, DVD ed edition that came out a few years ago. It's nothing new, but I hadn't seen it. I had only seen the TV version, and and that was pretty good. Uh, but now seeing the uh, Blu-ray release, um, I got to see all the <laughs> changes they made, and some of them were spot on. And and and. Uh, good for them for making that edit and, and not causing a uh, whole lot of commotion and um, it's great uh, for all the older fans and the new fans if you've never seen Batman Beyond it's a great take on uh, on the whole Batman mythos since it's in the future uh, Bruce has an apprentice and he becomes a new Batman uh, basically the Joker comes back and there's a whole mystery as to how the heck can he come back uh, when he's been dead so when you find out it's I guess back then it was a little far-fetched, but now uh, seeing uh, so many comic books adapting that type of storyline <laughs> and and sci-fi flicks and stuff, I was like, ah, oh, okay, sure, I, I dig it, <laughs> whatever you say. Some of the scenes, however, um, I gotta say, like, uh, the flashback scene, really well made, and it was, of course, in the old... Um, uh, animated series uh, fashion from the 90s, and that was really good. As for the uh, disc itself, 
it has a ton of special features. However, I must say I was uh, I was not really that impressed by them, if you will. Uh, it has a commentary that well, the commentary was good. No, commentaries are always good. It, it has some animation tests and. <laughs> The Mephisto Odyssey Crash music video featuring Static X. And if you're a music buff, you know that Static X... Uh, yeah. They sucked. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that was particularly a, uh, like a little footnote in the strange history of the 2000s and how music evolved from the 90s and into uh, the 2010s and such. Uh, but um, yeah... Uh, I don't know what they were thinking about that, but yeah, that was a craze back then. Uh, but on to the film itself, it's not too long, nor it's just too short, I guess. Um, but unlike uh, taking into consideration the plot and um, it being a DC animated movie, I was actually surprised that it was 76 minutes long. But um, and another DC movies that I've reviewed and I've talked about on the. Uh, uh, podcast for a week in geekdom uh, I basically said you know that I was not a big fan of how little they little uh, running time because you've got like 70 minutes to tell a whole story and sometimes you're adapting these things and uh, a lot of details are gonna be flying off the screen and you're not gonna catch them uh, whereas in the comic book you have that time so in the animated world um, even though they shorten it and try to condense and and as much story as possible I really would like them to go beyond the 90 minute mark I think that would be an appropriate time for each of those movies but however um, this movie in particular was really good because uh, uh, this obviously was not adapting something uh, from a comic book. This was an original animated uh, property that was based on characters from comic books. Uh, but yeah, it was it, it was actually pretty cool to see it because 76 minutes uh, for this was pretty uh, was pretty good. Um, the first couple acts were amazing. By the time the flashback rolls, that to me was the highlight of the whole movie because you finally got to see what happened and you got to revisit those old fond memories of Conroy and Mark Hamill as uh, Batman and Joker respectively uh, yeah, and uh, after that it just uh, the final I, I might add that the final scene uh, sort of played out a little bit too quick uh, when everything goes down I'm not gonna spoil it if you haven't watched it but I'm guessing if you're a fan and you're looking for a review I'm guessing you already have uh, but uh in that final confrontation uh, where uh, everything blows up, um, I think the way uh, they got rid of him, you know, with the um, with the parlor trick and the and the chip in the neck, um, that it was a little bit too easy, I guess, for such an important uh, character in the whole mythos of the Batman animated and comic book world. So I guess uh, it was a little bit uh, underwhelming, in my opinion. But nonetheless, it's a great movie, great art. Um, they really outdid themselves with the uh, voice cast. It's, it's all the classics that you know and love. Uh, if, if you like the 90s, you're definitely going to enjoy this uh, this great movie. And it, I sincerely believe it's one of the best DC animated movies they've done compared to all the other recent stuff. It still holds up. It's one of the greats. And um, I'd definitely go uh, check it out, um, as I said. Uh, the special features were a little bit um, underwhelming and while yes there is a commentary there are a couple features they're pretty short so aside from the commentary all the rest isn't really needed in my opinion so I guess they could have just released the commentary and, and I still would have complained that it would have been lacking so I don't know maybe it's hard to please movie buffs uh, but yeah uh, what are we gonna give this film definitely a five out of five it's one of the best DC movies I've ever seen it's my favorite of the uh, animated movies and uh, I guess mm, it's a bit of a debate if you have to see Batman Beyond and the animated series to watch this but you should I mean you can watch the movie and really appreciate it because they do a really good job of explaining it uh, but uh, yeah as for uh, getting all the details and enjoying the full experience, of course you have to check out the series first, the uh, the old one, and then Batman Beyond, and then watch this uh, this one. And five out of five. What more could I say? 
uh, great uh, DVD transfer colors look amazing vibrant I actually went back and looked at the original and it looked really crappy on my TV uh, compared to this uh, to this uh, blu-ray release and of course uh, when you buy it I forgot to mention that of course you're getting uh, both copies uh, DVD and the blu-ray and, uh, and uh, the original uncut version of course uh, so yeah go definitely check it out and um, let us know what you think. Of course, you can write to us down below, or up, or left, or right. I don't know where you're gonna. You guys are gonna write your stuff, but uh, let us know. Send us your feedback. We can kick them at gmail.com. You can also uh, uh, tweet us. You can follow us at a we can geek them, or you can follow us on Facebook. Just type for our podcast a we can geek them. And of course, please, folks, don't forget to constantly visit. We are trying to update as much as possible our website, weekinggeekdom.com. We are going through some changes, um, but our podcast is up and running as always, and uh, we look forward uh, to recording more episodes so that you can hear it and you can have a hell of a good time listening to them. So yeah, Batman Beyond, Return of the Joker, 5 out of 5 from the from yours truly. <laughs> so uh, definitely go check it out so for everyone here and myself as you can see i'm all alone here in the studio today as always uh this has been giovanni menendez signing off and i will see all of you laters